here's where we find ourselves in our passage of scripture today. There was a brother that was stuck, paralyzed, in need of help. We all read the story. Um, Jesus had come home. And as Jesus arrived home, uh, there were crowds that began to develop because Jesus was home. And as he headed through the town, I think Jesus realized, I can't just hang out anywhere anymore, and I need to be in a specific spot. He got to a home, and people surrounded that thing. What the text doesn't tell us is that leading up to this point, Jesus had been through and done a lot. He had uh, been baptized at this point. He had been tested and tried. He called his first disciples. He drove out an impure spirit in the mother of Simon's uh, mother-in-law. He stopped and to pray. He healed a man with leprosy. And when he got home, word got out, and the folks bum rushed the place. Well, they showed up like the chosen few picnic. Showed up like the Taste of Chicago on the 3rd of July at Grant Park when we would go out to see the fireworks. Uh, they showed up like we did each time the Chicago Bulls won the NBA championship. They showed up like we will when the world opens back up. Oh, y'all, we outside. <laughs> they, they came from all over the place. Um, people came from far and wide, and I can imagine along the way there was a spot that the homies used to hang out at. Uh, this, this, this table, this, uh, uh, maybe, maybe it was the old, the old cats at the McDonald's that figured out I could hang out in the front and drink coffee. Um, but there was a spot where the fellas were hanging out, talking about life and doing what they do. Some of them drinking stuff that they shouldn't be drinking because it's gotten them into a lot of trouble already. And I hear this brother, they, they, I hear somebody going, hey, man, where y'all going? Brother Will yells back, I heard Jesus is down at Quinn. All right. All right. Now, we aren't sure how it happened or whose idea it was. But somebody thought that it would be smart for them to take the brother who couldn't walk to see Jesus. The, 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 the Bible says that the fellas leaped into action. And they ran on down the, the corner of 2401 South Wabash Avenue. I mean, that, that, to the house. They ran to the house um, to do just that, to see about their friend. The only problem when they got there, there was people everywhere. Wouldn't you know that they got there late? Pastor, go figure. Somebody arrived late for church. <laughs> Never mind. Um, but can I help somebody this morning? Can I tell you that getting your breakthrough will never be easy? That you'll always have to face obstacles. If you're taking notes, that's my first point, that getting your breakthrough will never be easy and you always going to have to face obstacles. You're always going to face obstacles, no matter where you go, no matter what you do. Even when you're doing something for the right reasons, you will always face obstacles. They ran into a ton of people. The crowd was ginormous. They, they couldn't just walk up. They had to get through the crowd. You, beloved, are no different. You and I are no different. Uh, we have to get through the crowd. Crowds in our lives are things that bunch up on us. It might not be actual people. It might be situations that you're facing. It might be stuff that you're going through. It might be the fact that, uh, that when you show up, you feel invisible. It might be the fact that uh, uh, folk don't hear you when you're talking uh, and understand what you mean when you ask questions. It, it might be that everybody has their opinion about how you're supposed to act and how things are supposed to go. Crowds. Can I encourage somebody today that no matter what you bump into, whatever crowd you bump into, don't give up. Find another way. Y'all missed it. Nothing is ever easy. You got to find another way. Nothing is ever simple. You've got to find another way. If you're looking for simple and easy, be very careful. The easy way out is often the enemy's way out. 
Let me say that again. The, 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 the easy way out is often the enemy's way out. When you, when you cut corners and when you try to do stuff real fast and easy, you might be allowing the enemy access into your life. So you got to be careful. 